Hi, welcome to my 13th tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to read, write, create random access file using binary data structure. A binary data structure can store large quantities of raw data. It is more space efficient than a list or a tuple. So let's get started. We want to write this term into the binary file. So our term contains a string, an atom, a tuple, and an integer. Now we want to convert this term into binary. So term to binary, and then we specify the term, use the term as an argument. Now that's been converted. The next step is to open an IO device, which is OK. IO will be our IO device because file open. Now we have to specify the directory and the file name we want to create if it doesn't exist or overwrite if it exists already. And to do that, just specify the directory and the file name. And we want to set the mode to a roar write binary mode. Perfect. Now the IO has been initialized. The next step is to create a file descriptor. File descriptor is an abstract indicator for accessing a file. So we know where what offsets the file the data we're looking for is and the size of the data itself. So we have to write the descriptor, which is file p write. And the IO is the IO. The first offset is going to be the offset we're going to write the data into. So we want to convert an integer into binary as well. So integer to binary. We specify we start at offset 20. Just to be sure. So offset 20. Everything is okay. Now we want to write the size of the file at offset 4 and the size of the file we can call a size built-in function and we put in the binary in there so binary so now it's going to write the size of the binary to offset 4 perfect now we have to write the data itself into the file so we want to start uh, like we said 20 and we want to write binary so we simply call binary perfect now we'll close the file io file is closed Let's just double check the file we just created. So we created a binary file. We open it as a text and we get this because it's binary. And now let's open it with the next editor. With the next editor, we get the first four bytes that contains the offsets of the data. And then the next four bytes that contains the size of the data, which is 47. And then the data, if we go down to offset 20 and that's the data right there so we go back to Erlang so let's read the file first thing we do is we we call a new IO device in, in equals let's copy this so we don't have to do and then we just change this to read perfect now to read file p read the io device which is in the first offset which is zero and the amount of bytes 
first thing we do is we call the four bytes and you see we have 50 48 zero, zero, zero. now let's try calling three bytes we have 50 48 zero, zero, zero. what we want to do is to get rid of the zero so two bytes would do it and what we do is okay we want to put in the, the value into a variable called l equals file p read now i n zero and two now we have 20 so l is 20. now let's see if we can convert l into an integer so binary dash to integer l is 20. perfect now the other thing we want to check is the size so we know the offset is 20. now the next part is the size so we go to offset 4 2 we change l to s s is 47 which is the size of the file now let's load the file itself into well let's load the data so we call offset 20 now 47 here we go we have a binary and it's in file now let's convert this file back into a term so we want binary dot binary to term and then we put in the file um, should have been data so we put in the file in there and here we go hello world from ireland 2013 thanks for tuning in today see you next time